This lecture is going to cover conversion factors and converting between one unit and another. Conversion factors are expressions used to change from one unit to another. As an example, one foot is equal to 12 inches. This would be a conversion factor. Now when we are trying to convert units, there's a couple different ways that we may write this conversion factor. We might want to write it as one foot over 12 inches or 12 inches over one foot. And the way that we write this conversion factor is going to depend on which units we need where, which we'll take a look at in our first example. So let's take a look at an example converting between systems. So let's say that we want to convert 35 liters to gallons. So in this process, the very first thing that we want to do is write our starting value as a fraction over 1. So we want to convert 35 liters, so we're going to write 35 liters as a fraction over 1. The next thing we need to do is set up conversion fraction or conversion factor. Now in this case, if we look at our table of measurement conversion factors, we see that there is a direct conversion between liters and gallons. That conversion factor is 3.79 liters is equal to 1 gallon. Now it's very important that we write this correctly. In this case, it's correct to write the 3.79 liters on the bottom, 1 gallon on the top, because we are trying to get rid of the unit of liters, and the only way that we can do that is if we have liters on top and liters on the bottom. So now that we have liters on top, liters on the bottom, what we need to do next is make sure the unwanted units cancel. So again, those unwanted units are liters and liters. In this case, we are left with the unit of gallons. Now if we weren't left with the unit that we wanted, we would need another conversion factor, but in this case we have all that we need. So the last thing that we need to do here is multiply and simplify. So when we are multiplying fractions, we multiply everything across on the top, everything across on the bottom, and then divide. So 35 times 1 gallon is 35. 1 times 3.79 is 3.79. So 35 divided by 3.79 is approximately 9.23 gallons. Now we're going to talk a little bit about area and volume, and then we will look at one of these conversions as well. So area is just the amount of two-dimensional space, the length and the width, an object occupies. So if we are looking at kind of your basic rectangle, area is going to be length times the width. Units for area will be square inches, square meters, square yards. The big thing to remember here is that it will always be square units because we are multiplying a length by a width, so inches times inches would be square inches. Volume, on the other hand, is the amount of three-dimensional space, the length, the width, and the height, an object occupies. So if we are looking at a basic rectangular prism, the volume of this rectangular prism would be length times width times height, and these units would be cubic inches, cubic meters, cubic yards, um, and if we are dealing with a liquid, it might be liters or milliliters, but any time that we are measuring a solid, we'll always have cubic units because, again, we're multiplying three measurements together. Let's go ahead and take a look at an example of a volume conversion. Let's say we want to convert 67 cubic inches into cubic centimeters. So again, following our process like before, the very first thing we want to do is write the starting value as a fraction over 1. So we will write 67 cubic inches as a fraction over 1. The next thing we need to do is set up a conversion fraction. So if you look at the table of your measurement conversion factors, we don't see a direct conversion between cubic inches and cubic centimeters. However, we do see a conversion between inches and centimeters, so we're going to go ahead and use that. So the conversion that we're going to use is 2.54 centimeters is equal to 1 inch. Now notice that I put inches in the denominator in the conversion fraction or conversion factor because that's the unit that I'm trying to get rid of. Now when we are dealing with volume or area, we can use our single length measurement, we can use those conversion factors, and in this case, we can cube everything if we want a volume. Now, we will cube the 2.54, cube the centimeters, and cube the inches. So that's how we can get rid of the units of cubic inches. So that's how we can make sure our unwanted units cancel. And this process will work any time that we have an area or a volume conversion. Just don't forget to either square or cube your numbers. So in this case, the cubic inches will cancel off the cubic inches and the denominator, again, because we have to take this exponent and apply it to everything inside the parentheses. Now we're left with units of cubic centimeters, so all that's left to do is multiply and simplify. So when we're multiplying, we're going to take 67 times 2.54 
cubed, now don't forget to cube the 2.54, otherwise we won't end up with a correct answer. So when we do this, we should end up with 1,098 cubic inches. This concludes our second lecture on unit conversion.